guys, welcome back to Gaming Cats. So today I'm going to show you how to do a nice craft while you're at home. And this is a very easy one. But first, go down there, subscribe, and hit the notifications. So for this craft, we are going to be coloring rocks, but in a different way. We're going to be baking them, and then using crayons on it, and the wax melts, and it feels really good. So that's just a little preview. Okay, so first, you're going to need to find some nice rocks. As you see, I have done here. And you're going to need to find some nice flat rocks. They're going to need to have a flat top and some type of flat surface that you can color on. Okay guys, for this, for step two, you're going to need to take your rocks and you're going to have to wash them. So you're going to need some type of like toothbrush or something that you can use to really scrub off the dirt and some type of thing that you can use to also help. And you're going to need a bucket of water. So you're going to dunk the rock inside the water. Per Probably like warm water would really do. And then you're going to take your toothbrush and you're going to just start scrubbing and you want to get all the dirt off because this will not, it could light something on fire or something like that if it goes, when it goes in the oven. So you want to make sure that you get all the dirt, all the gunk off. And you're going to do that for every single rock. As you can see, the rock is like that and then you're going to dunk it again. Dunk the toothbrush keep going until you have cleaned all the surfaces. And for step three, the final step outside, you're going to want to lay out all your rocks once you've done washing them and you're going to want to lay them out for a few hours and then when you come back to them they should all be dry and try to put them in a sunny spot. Right now the sun is behind the clouds but when it comes out they will be covered in sun so they will dry. Step four, you're going to want to bake or to preheat the oven to 350. And while you're waiting for the oven to preheat, you can start peeling off the stuff around the crayons because it's going to melt fast. So like that, and you're gonna wanna pick a few colors that you want. You're probably not gonna be able to do a design very well, but you can try. I'm probably going to do a swirl or something similar. And you're not going to want to set the rocks on top of a countertop because it could wreck your countertop. So you want to get some tinfoil and lay it out either on your table or on top of something. I chose to lay it on the baking pan so it's easier. And the oven is almost preheated. Okay, after your oven has preheated, you're going to want to take your rocks we're not using a baking sh a baking pan or whatever it's called, but you can. You're gonna wanna set them on the rack. So the oven has preheated to 350. So you're gonna close it and you're gonna wanna set a timer for 10 minutes. And if they're not that hot by then, then 15. So 10 to 15 minutes. And if it's really hot, that means it's ready. And be very careful when you're taking it out and get an adult to take it out. After you've had your adult take the rock out of the oven, you can begin. So as you can see, the wax is melting as soon as it hits the rock. And be, care be very careful and try not to touch it because this will be very hot. And you want to hurry up with your design or whatever you're doing because it will cool off and then you can't put it back in the oven. So I just finished coloring it. So this is how it looks. This is an Easter rock. I have blended some. I have blended the colors and everything. So we'll come back and look at this rock when it is all dry. And I you I press down on it, and then it helps blend the colors. And you can see that the crayon just melts on the surface, and then it goes down, like you see that it does here. Okay, I'm gonna do one more rock, and this one I'm gonna be doing a blue. 
and a and a white mix. So this one is fresh out of the oven. So if I suggest that you just do one rock at a time and you leave the others in the oven. So I'm kind of making this nice blue color. You can really do whatever type of design you want. You don't have to drip them or mix them or anything. I think it just looks really cool when you mix them and drip them. So that's, we'll check on all of these when they're all This done. is the final product of the rocks. And as you can see, they turned out very beautiful and they feel super satisfying. And the drip effect really made it come together. My favorite one is probably the blue one right here. It feels super satisfying and it's really pretty. I didn't do the back though. And there's this other one that I have done. That one's really pretty. The Easter themed one that I did. This other one. And then this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.